Aishar. Hello everybody uh, watching our YouTube channel. Today we have Aisha with us, our ranker of previous batch 2024 and uh, she is here to share her experiences with her juniors to help them guide and motivate for the current GPET examinations. So hello Aisha, how are, how are you? Hello, I'm doing well. How about you? I am good. I hope you are enjoying your time at Naipur Mohali. Yeah, ma'am, it's truly, it's truly great over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So today we are, we will be having a small chit chat to help you guide uh, your uh, juniors and uh, so that they also achieve a good rank and enjoy the time that you are enjoying at Naipur Mohali. So sure, ma'am, very much privileged for this opportunity. Yeah, yeah. So before beginning, let me help you help our audience know you. So. Uh, could you please introduce yourself in brief about your journey or something about you? So, I am Aisha Yasmin. I am from Chennai. I've graduated from Madras Medical College. So, uh, I've given my GPAT in the third year itself. So, in my third year, I've got around 420 rank something okay. in GPAT. So, I got to know my potential. So in third year, uh, uh, I've achieved 420 ranks. So I got to know my potential and I was like, uh, Chalo, let's <laughs> let's uh, have a look into the same thing in Naipur and GPAT in 2024 as well. So I gave uh, my GPAT exams and I've secured All India Rank 8. And uh, in Naipur, I've secured All India Rank 7. And I've got my admission in uh, Pharma MBA after the counseling in uh, Naipur, Guwahati, where I've received uh, Naipur MBA Rank, All India Rank 2. And I'm currently pursuing Pharma MBA. Yeah. So, how do you think your life after being a Niperian is different from non-Niperian in terms of like future opportunities, changes in your personality, exposure, if you would like to highlight some points? Yeah, ma'am. Uh, I was in my, in my uh, UG. Uh, I studied in Madras Medical College. So most of the people were from Tamil Nadu. So uh, I was not exposed to the culture uh, of outside uh, outside my state. So coming here in Naipur, I've explored uh, many cultures. I've interacted with many people. And in Naipur, you get uh, so much good research facilities. The research, research facilities are very good over here. And uh, the alumni network is also great. More important is the placement. Placements in the Naipur Mohali is uh, a very great thing. Super. So everything, uh, uh, it separates us from non Naiparians. So I'm very glad to be here. So you must have seen some kind of changes in your personality, correct? Like in terms of confidence, in terms of communications. Like, of course, you had a very good communication before joining Naipur also. But then, too, in terms of professional communication, uh, professional interactions and building your own brand, something like that. Yes, ma'am. So uh, getting enrolled in Pharma MBA, uh, I got to learn, like I have to uh, increase my communication skill. I have to add more professional. So everything is a journey and uh, I'm enjoying it here. So you are getting corporate ready. Not only MBA candidates yeah. get corporate ready here. MS students also get corporate ready in terms yeah. of their personality, knowledge, so that they can compete with experienced person also. Yeah, ma'am. Correct. So how Pharma Minds helped you during your preparation time? If you could mention a few instances like uh, before uh, preparation, after preparation and uh, regular interaction, if you could highlight any of your points. Yeah, so Pharma Minds, I got to know about Pharma Minds in the third year. So I gave my GPAD in the third year. Uh, and then I got to, uh, like in the third year, I used to learn from Pharma Minds, their notes, their, uh, I, I used to give tests. So after that, I gave my GPAT uh, in the third year. So I got to know, okay, I stand out from the other people in terms of their notes. The notes are very much structured. And in Pharma Minds, the speciality is all the people who teach us, everyone is an hyperite. Most of the people. So we got uh, we get to learn from the people over there. So it's like uh, uh, I get most of the motivation. Like whenever I get uh, low, uh, uh, the Pancha sir, Akash sir, they used to call me. Why are your grades low? What happened to you? Uh, like the mentorship. Uh, it's not like uh, you get enrolled in pharma they leave you leave you all alone. It's like uh, there there are family. Hmm. They keep a check on us regularly. Got so uh, that's the thing. 
of uh, being a senior also not being a farm and faculty also i know that uh, uh, juniors crave to know what naiper is how to prepare there are times of depression anxiety and in which if a naiperian student who have already crossed the journey got you like uh, guide you and motivate you down that is a bliss like i think that it it is really helpful because in my journey also it was very helpful i could not uh, be less great, grateful to the seniors i have got So, yes ma'am whenever i say ki uh, sir i'm not feeling well uh, i don't know i'll get into naiper or something they give me motivation like naiper mein ye hai naiper mein wo hai you'll get to learn these many things so that motivates me okay let's study it again and again so that's and of course the persons who have cracked the examination could help you with tricks and tips also important highlights so that it will help you with smart learning rather than hard learning yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So yeah. now, because you value being a Nigerian and continue to motivate your juniors to crack the examination, could you please highlight some takeaways or learnings from your preparation journey that turned out to be turning points? Like, uh, some things often come across like you must have got to know a bit late, but you want to highlight that that your junior should not miss that point before during the preparation time. Okay, so one was uh, I used to be more uh, focused towards pharmacology because uh, we people uh, we uh, try to live in our comfort zone. So uh, we will like more subjects. Like I used to like pharmacology, pharmacognosy, etc. So I used to dwell on it so much time. Like I'll study pharmacology, I'll study pharmacognosy, the same thing. But when I gave my mock test, then I got to know I'm lacking in my organic chemistry and many other subjects. So this. Uh, as my turning point so uh, you should not be in your comfort zone you should evaluate yourself uh, time to time uh, that is when uh, you will get to know i thought uh, maybe i could have done that priorly so uh, i would have known ki mai uh, organic chemistry is mess up thoda weak ho so but still i had time so i got to know my weak points and then uh, i uh, kept focusing on it then i kept aside pharmacology and pharmacognosy for some time and i focused on my um, other subjects so getting out of the comfort zone was a thing and being consistent also yeah. is a pretty much thing so yeah so work on weak subjects as well don't only work and polish your uh, the subjects of your interest and skills and that give you marks of course minor subjects and chemistry being the subject almost everybody don't like it because it is uh, yes. a bit difficult subject perceived difficult subject but yeah so which was your weak subject and how did you tackle it like you already mentioned about chemistry but is there any take away to handle the weak subjects positively and smartly yes ma'am uh, it's not like you can't master in everything so in gpat uh, what happens is it's not like how much you know in a particular subject subject it's like you sh- uh, kitna aapko pata hai sabhi subjects mein thoda 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 correct so you should know everything like because gpat no it has all all the subjects included in it so it's not like pharmacology mera acha hai i'll do more in pharmacology and i'll do less in uh, chemistry and all so you you have to do it in everything so i got to know uh, an organic chemistry was weak and that's why uh, I, i didn't start um, uh, like um, i started slowly gradually i started because uh, i had a fear with uh, organic chemistry like the reactions the uh, everything so i started gradually i started watching youtube lectures uh, and started solving mcqs like not uh, uh, the big mcqs it's like the reactions what is the intermediate of this what's the starting product of this and uh, what i made is i made a structured mini notes uh, we make notes like it's flash cards etc etc but in mini notes what i did is only the reaction like the name of the reaction it starts from this it ends uh, this the uh, if any important intermediate then I'll, i used to mention that so mini notes it helped me with uh, gain my confidence in organic chemistry and then i started gradually uh, to gain more knowledge about the same reaction correct so yeah even in my uh, teaching pattern i highlight that focus minor subject ko minor ki tarah treat karo learn everything so that you get a gut feeling of the answers also it is an mcq based examination and the testing agency has been changed so we cannot predict everything like important topics this time also so you must know everything so that you can at least have a gut feeling that this could be the possible answer rather than being yes, blank ma'am. with the question and topic yeah 
so do you believe that mentorship that you got uh, from your naipur seniors during and after your preparation time was a crucial element of your journey like they used to guide you with don't make this mistake just like the way you are guiding your uh, juniors right now yes ma'am it's very crucial actually because uh, it's like uh, we are leading blind if we are not uh, following our seniors we should keep on motiv- uh, asking them for our doubts like uh, it's like we are you know, getting to know about naipur from the people who were there correct so we'll gain more insights like what naipur actually is and how should we uh, give the exam like what uh, what are the mistakes to be avoided and uh, no it, uh, there are rises some points like uh, when we are very low Uh, it's okay. like hai, uh, <laughs> we need a hand to raise us. So uh, seniors uh, have uh, uh, been a crucial been crucial part in okay. my journey. Uh, everyone, uh, like seniors, uh, I, I like to include some names who are from farm yeah. events like you, uh, Dipanshu sir, Akash sir, Akash Manmude sir, many, many such people, many people, like they all uh, have played okay. a crucial role. because uh, what i believe and uh, through this interview with you i want to highlight that asking doubt people feel that they will be treated uh, like they will be uh, looking dumb and everything like that uh, this should be the right question or not this uh, this should be asked or not uh, there is a breaking of ice which is required that you can ask anything to us any at any point of time don't uh, waste your time stay focused stay hydrated stay motivated stay confident something like this is really helpful because uh, when we give a national level examination we don't know our competitors and there is a sense of self doubt yeah. which is to be tackled at the first point uh this is what i believe and uh, many of you already informed us that there is self self doubt because we also face self doubt we are here talking to you but yes we cannot forget our journey as well yes ma'am we should never hesitate asking our seniors anything correct so how did you tackle situations of stress phase of no growth of course there are point that you don't seem like you are performing with an incremental success or self doubt etc Yes, ma'am. So there used to be times like uh, uh, we give AIM test series and many other test series which Pharma Minds conducts. So in that my rank gets low. Uh, I used to compare it with people who were on top of me. So um, it is basically toxic. Like uh, I know what I'm doing. So it's actually uh, a self motivation also. Like I should work more upon myself. Uh, so uh, to handle stress, I like to watch movies <laughs> so much. so i watch movies like it's not like padhte hi raho har waqt so you you should focus on your uh, well being also because uh, gpat no it's like how much you remember not how much you study you should remember things so your mental well being is a major role so uh, stress handling you talk with your friends you talk with your family spend more time with them so yeah yeah correct and during your mcq solving time you must have come across some uh, different con- uh, questions of different concepts uh, like you must not have come across those those topics before solving that mcq during the preparation time so how did you handle those situations did you, did you make some short notes or you just remembered the answer something like that Yes, ma'am. So, for an efficient approach, I used to remember the answers then and there because uh, uh, the because most of the questions is like new. Hmm. Uh, uh, I have not come across those questions. So, rather than going into the topic, uh, what I did was the reverse learning learning approach. I used to take Pearson in Amdar uh, and uh, solve the questions. I got to know. I don't know this. I don't know this. Uh, it's basically uh, uh, like one to one questions only. so i uh, i highlighted those questions uh, i see the answer for this question is this uh, so and so and then i go to the if i had uh, more uh, doubts then i go to the topic and learn more about the topic and you should also not study subjects in isolation like study pharmacology in isolation study medicinal chemistry in isolation etc you should correlate the subjects if you have studied beta blockers in pharmacology study the uh, whole structure of the beta blockers in medicinal chemistry and uh, and etc you should correlate it how is beta block is the formulation etc you should correlate all the subjects don't study subjects in isolation because people who study subjects in isolation uh, don't know that they are mugging up the things they are not uh, actually learning it 
with the learning point yeah. they, are, they are not getting the topic right that is why they are not able to link it this is a major red flag that one should uh, identify during the preparation and people often miss this point they keep on learning new new things but uh, at the end of the day they don't have their concepts clear so yes ma'am if you study beta blockers first and then study alpha blockers correct. and then go into uh, uh, many other pharmacology uh, the efficiency of the preparation will be lower i don't know uh i might be wrong as well but if you study beta blockers in pharmacology and this and this uh then the efficient preparation will be there and you won't get bored as well no i can give you one example which i have come across if we are lo- learning about uh, uh like in hospital pharmacy we learn about cotton we must also link that what is the name of pharmacological name of cotton and any, anything from pharmacognosy something yeah. like that this is how i believe we also revise things better and this yeah, yeah. often helps and this should be the smartest trick to just correlate things and revise again and again rather than opening each and every book because almost 3 4 months are left to your juniors giving the examination now and uh, what would be your suggestion if uh, they are saying that we haven't we are not confident enough now we have not covered maximum syllabus and something like that what would you suggest to them like is there any good time left for them to score good or any strategy that you could help them that could help them yes ma'am so the last 3 uh, to 4 months of the gpart preparation is when you uh, get to know more like isi waqt mein pace aapko zyada karna you have to get your pace higher here so it's not it's never too late that's what i say it's never too late so you guys should learn keep on learning keep on learning practice mcqs it will get to know you more uh, you should not think like i haven't uh, uh, done anything for gpart nine for these many years and uh, now it's only 3 to 4 months uh, so my preparation is not, it's not sufficient you have learned all those subjects in your semester itself right, right. so you have you just have to revise and uh, work more on the concepts so 3 to 4 months is more than enough if you work on the work on a good pace correct correct uh, any advice to your juniors left like anything that you want to summarize yeah so don't cram things make notes and make mini notes of those because uh, there used to be many numbers like appendicular skeleton uh, we have these many bones axial skeleton these many bones you can't remember numbers when you have read those numbers one to two months back mm. so you have to revise those when you are getting into the exam so before getting into the exam uh, you should look at those numbers because uh, uh, because now you don't have to cram things if you look Got at it. your notes those notes uh, you might remember during the exam Got it. Uh, it might be it might give you a reflection so don't cram things any time uh, get uh, your concepts right practice many mcqs as much mcqs as possible uh, if you face any uh, uh, demotivation talk to your seniors and Haan. that's it <laughs> so thank you very much aisha it was pleasure talking to you and i hope you enjoyed the interaction this will be live to all your juniors and i hope they will find it useful too thank you ma'am thank you bye Bye